Hey everyone, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use the free add-on for Google Sheets called Autocrat. And if you are a user of Google Forms and Google Sheets, you know that they are awesome. And Autocrat, as I'm going to show you, can completely take uh, Google Forms and Sheets to the next level. So what you can see on the screen right now is a Google Form that I have created for my teachers. Each week they meet in PLC, uh, Professional Learning Communities and they submit notes to me each week so that I can kind of stay up and and know what they're working on and assist them if they need anything and they submit their notes through a Google form like you see here and if you know how to use Google form or if you've used them before everything that you see here the grade level the date of the meeting the start and end time when they submit this form all of the data for that is going to automatically be populated in a spreadsheet like what you see here which is fantastic because then I can sort the spreadsheet by grade level and I can keep track of all of the notes but what Autocrat does because you can imagine this spreadsheet toward the end of the year it's going to be really full and hard to look at what Autocrat does if you're familiar with mail merge Autocrat takes the data from a form so this data goes into the spreadsheet here and what Autocrat does is it takes that data and automatically creates, it populates it into a template like what you see here. So I have created this Google Doc, this template. I've just made some tables and all of the data that they submit from their PLC notes will automatically go into this template and be created in, an e in a document, a PDF or a Google Doc that is then automatically emailed to me and to the teacher. Imagine that. They submit a form and what and as soon as they do that, what you see here is automatically filled with the information that they submit and automatically emailed to me and the teachers. It's fantastic. So, let me show you how to do that. The first thing that you're going to want to do, I mean, you're going to create your Google form like you see here. And the next step would be to create your template. Now you can make the template look any way you want. But what you'll see that I have here, I've got my little tables here. And you'll notice if I go back to my spreadsheet, each one of these columns in the spreadsheet matches the question in the form. Grade level, notes for the meeting on, start time, ed time. So again, grade level, notes for the PLC meeting on, start time, end time. So the form corresponds with each column on the spreadsheet and then in my template I'm going to make each one of the what you, what you see here the little sideways carrots. These are called merge tags. So for example if I go back here and I can see that column B is the grade level. Whatever they put, first grade, second grade, third grade for there, that whatever they put right here is going to be merged into the template. So you can see that I have put the title of the column. So grade level, I have put that between the sideways carrots. Two sideways carrots, the title of the column, grade level, and the other sideways cut carrots. So notes for PLC meeting on, you can see that is exactly the title, uh, that, the, the title of this uh, column, start time colon, end time colon, you can see that that's what you've got right here. Once again, you can format uh, the table, the doc, any way you want, but what you want to have done before you start is get this, ta get this template ready and you want to put these merge tags in here. Okay, and again, surrounded by the little sideways carrots. So get this done first and then you can set up Autocrat. So let me show you now how to do that. So I've made my form and then I made my template, kind of how I want the, the merged data to look when it's done. So let's now go to the spreadsheet. And what you want to do is you want to go to Add-ons and you want to select Autocrat. Now if you have not yet selected Autocrat, you would go down to Get Add-ons. You're going to get the dialog box that opens up. Do a search for Autocrat it's going to show up right here. Mine says manage because I've already installed it. Yours would have the little free button. You'd click that and follow the steps to install it. But I already have it installed so I'm going to go to add-ons, 
Autocrat, and Open. And that's going to open a little dialog window. That says Autocrat right there. And after a few moments, that will go ahead and load, and you can see no merge job set up yet, because I haven't done it yet. So I'm going to go ahead and click New Job, and I'm going to name my job PLC Notes Merge. Well, that was the, oh, one away, PLC Notes Merge, and I'm going to click Next. Next step is to select that template. Remember, this template right here, which I have called PLC Notes confirmation template. So I'm going to now find that. Now you can create one right then and there, but um, I don't recommend that. I recommend having it done beforehand. So I'm going to click from drive and it's going to go and I'm going to now need to find where it is. So I'm just going to do a search PLC notes template. Oh, there it is right there. So I'm going to select that and just wait a couple moments for it to go ahead and recognize that that's the template. Oh, there we go. Boom, it's loaded, so let's click Next. Now here's the what will end up being probably the trickiest part. And what you can see here is Autocrat has looked at the template that you created, and it has looked at the merge tags that you will have done, and it tries to match them up. Now let's see how it did. It looked at the merge tag grade level, and it's going to map it to the column of my spreadsheet grade level. It got it right, and it does that most of the time. If, and you can see here, notes for PLC meeting on. Yep, got that right. Timestamp, timestamp, start time, start time. Scrolling down, I can see, yep, it got everything right. If it's not sure, it'll give you a little icon. And if it got it wrong by some reason, you just click on the little drop down and choose the correct one. So you just want to match the merge tag to the proper column in your spreadsheet. Now it already got them all correct, so I'm going to click Next. And we're going to name, when it's going to create that file, we're going to name that file. So I'm going to call it PLC Notes. Now, if I just left it as PLC Notes, every time a teacher submits it, I'm going to have a file called the same thing. So I need to make it more unique. I want it to be dynamic. Here's the great thing. See this little blue bar? I'm going to call it PLC Notes, and I want it to be by grade level. So I'm going to click this. Now it notices all my, nerge, all my merge tags. Now watch, it says click to copy to clipboard. So I'm going to tap or click the grade level, and then I'm going to go here and I'm going to control V or command V. I'm going to paste that into it. So now the file is going to be called PLC notes, first grade, second grade, third grade, whatever grade level was submitted. And I'm, I'm going to be even more specific and I'm going to say, well, well, it was the notes for the meeting on. I'm going to click that to select it, to copy it and paste it there. So now you can see it's going to say PLC notes for second grade on June 19th, whatever the date was. You can choose to make the document a Google Doc or a PDF. I'm going to go ahead and choose PDF and I want it to stay multiple documents, meaning every time a form is submitted I want a new document to be created. So I'm going to do that and click Next. And now we're going to choose where we want uh, the documents to be created because every time it's created it's going to be also created and put a copy in my Google Drive. So I'm going to go down, I'm going to need to find, I'm going to go to my root directory, my drive, into Alta My School, and scroll down to PLC Notes, and I'm going to put them right in that folder. So I'm going to click Next, so it's going to go in PLC Notes. And these next two steps, if these are more advanced steps, I don't use these. If you want to learn how, you can click the help guide, but these next two steps are optional and I just pass on these. So I'm going to click next. I'm going to click next again. And here's the great part. I want to share this doc. I want it to be emailed to the, my teachers and to me as well. So I'm going to share it as a PDF. I'm going to click yes. I want them to be able to reshare it and it won't come from a generic address. It'll come from me. And who do I want it to go to? Well, I want it to go to the email address that they submitted in the form. So I'm going to go back here and your school email address. I'm going to click that to select it. 
and paste it in here. And for the subject of the email, I'm going to say PLC notes, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to go ahead and call it PLC notes by the grade level. Whoops. And by the date that they're meeting. So notes for PLC meeting on. I select that and paste it in. And then in the message, I can put something along the lines of attached are your PLC notes. And click next. And the last step, I want it to run the form on the trigger, meaning every time the form is run, it does the merge. So I'm going to click yes there. It may say, are you sure? And if it does, just say yes. And I'm also going to click this yes on a time trigger. I'm also going to run it, and you can select how often you want to do it. I'm going to do it every hour as a backup, just in case it didn't automatically merge. Now every hour it's going to merge as well. And I'm going to go ahead and click Save. And give it a few moments to go ahead and save there. And there you see. If you need to edit, you just hover and click there. If you want to delete it and start over, you can do that. And if you want to run a manual merge, you can click right there. I'm going to go ahead and X out of that. And I'm going to go to my form. And I'm going to go ahead and submit it and show you how it works. So let's say, for example, it was my third grade team. And they were meeting on that date there. They started at 2.15 and went till 4.15. And the members present, let's say it was Joe, Bob, Lori, Trish, and Mary. And they were submitted, let's say they were submitted by Bob. And they'd probably be putting their last names in, but I'm just doing this for an example. And they would put... Bob would put his email address, his school email address. Now, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to go ahead and put my Gmail address. And then I would type in the notes. Like, these would be the things that they worked on in their meeting. So you can see there. And then I'm going to click Submit. So, now watch what happens. I'm going to go back to my spreadsheet. Now, you can see here, look what I, what I just submitted was put into the spreadsheet. Okay, again, I got a lot of mumbo jumbo there, but it's all in the spreadsheet. Now what you're going to notice in just a moment, these columns here are going to be populated with, boom, right there. The autocrat has created, and you don't even have to understand what exactly those mean, it just makes the magic happen. And there you can see, look what it just did. It automatically generated these things. It even tells you when to the second and when it was emailed. So I'm going to now check my email and I'm going to see. Well look at that. I just got an email that says attached to your PLC notes and if I open these up look what it did. Everything from the form nice and neatly formatted into the template that I created. That is Autocrat. It is fantastic. If you are a, a teacher or a school administrator, I cannot uh, recommend this enough. We use this for PLC agendas, PLC notes. Uh, we have student awards automatically generated through Autocrat. The teachers fill out a form, it goes into an award template, and it emails the teachers the uh, certificate. Autocrat is fantastic. I hope this was helpful. Thanks for watching. If you want to look at some more tutorials on Google Forms and Google Sheets, visit my website at brentcoley.com. I've got a lot of tutorials on there. Once again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.